Thank you, Presiding Officer. HIV is growing in Scotland. A fresh outbreak which began in Glasgow in 2015 continues, and 13% of Scots infected with the virus don't know they have it. Against that backdrop, HIV Scotland have been in the vanguard of raising public awareness, research, and aligning public policy for the best part of a quarter of a century. But we learned this week that most of their government funding, which they've enjoyed for 25 years, will be taken away. Does the First Minister not regard HIV as a problem anymore, and if she does, will she instruct officials to revisit this decision immediately? First Minister. Can I, can I say, uh, the, the presentation of this issue in the media this morning, and it's fed through into the presentation of that question, uh, I think is somewhat misleading, and I think it's important to set out uh, the background to this issue. And Alec Hamilton might actually welcome some of what I'm about to say, if he's prepared to listen to it. In 2017, there was an open uh, round uh, held for sexual health and bloodborne virus funding uh, where organisations, including HIV Scotland, were able to apply for funding. It's important to stress there was no cut in the amount of money available. The amount of money, £1.9 million, was the same as it had been in previous years. A number of organisations applied for that funding. Uh, HIV Scotland was one of them, and uh, unfortunately they were not successful. But the decisions were based on advice from an assessment panel, which included independent members from NHS Highland, NHS Lothian and the third sector organisation, the Alliance. Now, at that point, the Scottish Government could have done uh, nothing, but that's not what we chose to do. And I made sure uh, that officials were working with HIV Scotland. So, uh, for example, we have already uh, provided HIV Scotland uh, with transition funding to meet their costs in the first four months of this financial year. We're providing advice to HIV Scotland to help them put forward uh, and develop a new business plan, which uh, may open up uh, additional Scottish Government funding. We're advising them on how they can attract alternative sources of funding. So the Scottish Government is already working actively with HIV Scotland uh, to try to ensure that it can have a sustainable future uh, and we will continue to do so. But if we'd interfered in the funding round that I spoke about, that would have involved taking funding away from organisations that had been successful in that open process. And then members, I'm sure, would have been asking me why we had done that. So that's the situation and we will continue to work positively with HIV Scotland. 